Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 7th, January 7th. So let's see what comes up. What do we have for the 7th? What's going on? January 7th. What do we need to know? Hmm. <laughs> well, looks like we have a greedy uh, Scrooge type of individual here. Somebody who is focused on their focused on everything. I mean, this is money. Miserable, too. Miserable. Not a happy camper. Got plenty of money. Grumpy. <laughs> Alone. You don't see anybody with him. So we got somebody here that is... He's got so much money, he can't even keep it in the bag. Whoever this person is. And he's still miserable. Miserable. It's not all about money. Remember that. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It could be anybody, but, you know, hey. Ah, wish fulfillment. What you've been wishing for. This is, a, this is some sort of wish. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time to follow your dreams. Now, this is a blessing. Somebody could be, you know, this guy is looking at a blessing. He sees a blessing, but oh, let's get some more cards. He's looking at this blessing. And, you know, this person who has been dreaming, this person has dreams and wishes and desires, prayers. This person's been praying, and this person uh, may have an opportunity, but they're focused really on everything but perhaps this. I don't know. Let's get some more. Oh, the hangman reversed. Interesting. Interesting. This man needs to make a decision. See how it's frozen on the bottom, upright? He's gone cold. He has gone cold. But it looks like... It looks like he's going to warm up. The ice is going to break because once he steps down, that ice is going to crack. And maybe he is cracking. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think somebody is cracking. Somebody is cracking. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, the tower. <laughs> it is absolutely cracking. Look at that tree is cracked right in half. Oh, yes, it has. It's it's done. It's coming down. Something is coming down. It's gonna coming down hard. It is coming down hard. It is. I I know exactly what this is. Um, but we're gonna get some more cards. Oh, Knight of Cups. Love. Coming with an offer of love, a relationship. You're looking for a relationship. You know. It looks like somebody is. I don't know if he's loosening his grip because things are starting to fall out. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Somebody is... And this guy is really happy. He's, he's focused on love. He's coming with a genuine offer of love. And it's almost like he wants to tell the world. It's like he's looking right into the camera, looking at somebody. He's like, yeah, I'm going to offer my love or... 
I'm open to love. Hmm. We'll tell the story here in a minute. Things have been delayed. Eight of Wands underneath this. It's freaking amazing how the cards come out. This man has been miserable. He's miser. This is like a hermit, even though it's not the hermit card. This is a person who has been focused on everything but love. This is the rod. The Eight of Wands is the rods of love. It's reversed. It can mean so many things. And it looks like this person has been miserable. Yeah, they have plenty of money and they focus on their work and they focus on their job. And perhaps they've been dreaming of love, but too stubborn, too greedy, too stuck in their ways to open their heart. But I think that, you know, there's some sort of blessing that, because this is a blessing that has been presented to them. And, you know, they have to make a decision, they have to make a choice whether they want a relationship or not. This is the Seven of Pentacles. Whoever it is can't wait anymore. They can't wait anymore. There's no more waiting around with, with these two cards together. It's like, I have to shit or get off the pot. You do have to shit or get off the pot. You do. You have to stand up and make a move because there's no more waiting. There's no more waiting. You can't wait anymore. strength to take that bull by the horns <laughs> you got that bull by the horn somebody needs to find the strength to take that bull by the horns take control find the force within them to follow their heart to do what they got to do to tame somebody perhaps you know Maybe to, uh, you know, maybe he's going to try to ride that ball. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Ah, the Knight of Wands reversed right under the Knight of Cups. This person is scared. This person, whoever this person is, we have somebody here that has been stubborn and greedy and choosing the wrong path. You know, they have. That's that's the case here. They've delayed. They've blocked love. They have blocked love, you know, for who knows. Maybe they thought they they were going to get stolen from. Maybe they thought that this person was going to be after their money. Maybe they thought that they needed more money. Or maybe they just thought that, you know, they didn't care about love. But now they have this, this newfound wish fulfillment like all of a sudden the universe this is a blessing like god heaven has presented them with some sort of gift okay wish fulfillment this is this is the relationship of a lifetime okay now a lot of people get this the ten of cups reverse is 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 a new beginning because the, the ten of cups upright is the completion it's a completion the ten of cups upright is a completion so we have, uh, you know, an opportunity for a new relationship here that could lead to happily ever after. But it's been blocked. This relationship has been blocked by somebody's stubbornness, by somebody's greed. This is, this is like a miser. It's somebody's greed. So it's been blocked. This relationship has been blocked. And I think somebody has sacrificed themselves and been stuck in suspension, perhaps because of... Their own ways, you know, their, their own frivolous ways, their own uh, hermit ways, their own uh, miserable ways, you know, their own misery. So, I, but I feel like with this hangman, somebody is no longer, you know, they're ready to break the ice. They're ready to stand up and break this ice because it's time. There's, there's really, it's, it's really time. I think whoever this person is that has been in suspension has wasted a lot of time. They have wasted a lot of time. They wasted a lot of their. They wasted some of their life. Okay. And I think now, 
now, like I said, something is going to crash. It, exactly. The, 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 the rude awakening has come. This is a fated event that happens. to make you find to find strength and courage and I mean this is a this is a fated event that is going to make you find your strength to take the bull by the horns to follow your heart in which you have delayed so somebody is going to whether it's you or the other person somebody is going to head in your direction or they're wanting to they're wanting to. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. I think they've received some sort of absolute awakening. They have. It's like something came crashing down. It has to do with their heart. Feelings. <laughs> this is feelings. Somebody's feelings have gotten involved. That's what's happened here. And even though this person has tried to block their feelings, I don't think they can. I don't think they can. And, um, now they, they just, they just, uh, they're scared to, they're scared to take action. They are. And they need to, cause this is get that go of your fear to take action. Somebody is in the process of deciding and they may have already made the decision because this is upright to accept this blessing. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. You know, I think that, that there was an, uh, something happened, you know, something happened that changed things drastically. There's been a drastic change with that tower card, a drastic change in feelings, in feelings. And now somebody is coming forward with love, but they're still fearful. They're still fearful. They're still afraid of... A relationship so whoever this is they're still a, they're still afraid of relationship they want it it's what they dream of and they see that it's a it's a perfect match they do they see it they want it they want it it's their wish fulfillment and they know it's a perfect perfect scenario they do huh let's get some more cards so whoever this person is who I think somebody has received a, a wake-up call about how they truly feel about another person. And they're probably, they're, they're starting to melt, you know what I mean? It's like their they're, uh, hardness, their coldness, their grumpiness, their protectiveness is starting to melt. They are. It's like they're starting to melt for another person. Ace of Cups. Ah, jeez, I'm girl. So, yeah, it's like this is love. It's, this is an opportunity for love, and this person sees that. So I believe there is a new opportunity for love here that could lead to happily ever after, and somebody is deciding to take action with that hangman upright. It's like I can't wait around, and you know, you can't wait around. Somebody has waited, and they focused on everything but love, but... If you don't take action, you know, it's it's going to go south. It's going to it's going to go in a different direction. So I think that whoever this person is sees that they are probably losing an opportunity for love and wish fulfillment by not taking action and they're going to find the strength to take that bull by the horns, you know, and and deal and deal with the struggle nine of swords um the pain there's there's somebody that has been overwhelmed with their thoughts overwhelmed with their fears i think this person who has been so scared is going to leave it behind they're going to leave their fears behind they're going to take action i think they are going to take action 
because they can't avoid it anymore. They can't escape it anymore. I think whoever this person is has tried to escape their true feelings for a long try time. They're trying to bury it, but they've tried to bury their true feelings. But I think things have been so messed up that they can't they can't ignore it anymore. And the universe sees. The universe sees. I mean, the time is now, and they've tried to delay and push aside their true feelings, push push aside their truth. But I think that they, the universe is saying, no, 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 no. You got to find your strength. You got to find your courage. You need to find that force within you to accept change and somebody hasn't wanted to accept change but we all evolve through time i mean you want to grow old alone with your money or do you want love i mean we got do you want to grow old alone with with money and live alone for the rest of your life and you know or do you want love i mean you gotta see what's marrying each other so somebody isn't making a decision and it's a it's a difficult one it's a difficult one this person has been really distraught with whether they should even love but the feelings have gotten involved so I think that feelings have gotten involved and they can't escape them anymore they can't escape their true feelings and they can't that bull is still facing out look at that <laughs> that's funny and this person is like, man, I'd really like to not deal with this. I'd like to escape it. I would like to just pretend this isn't happening, but you can't. This person can't pretend. They can't pretend. It's a reality. It is. It's a reality that I have to, you know, take action before it's, it's too late. Some, You know what I mean? I feel like somebody is going to have to, to, make, to make a move. They're going to have to make a move. And leave their thoughts, their negativity, their net pessimism behind. There's an opportunity for love here and wish fulfillment. Brought to you from above. And this person is somebody that you know. And they have been watching you like through a telescope. Look at the telescope. They've been watching you like religiously. And they, they, you know, they're not happy with what they see. They're not, they're not happy with your healing. They're not happy with your growth. Whoever this person is, this person, you know, they want to, you to love them. And they also, this person, whoever's been watching you, they see your beauty. They see your grace. They see your, uh, that you are receiving the wish fulfillment. They see that you are not stuck. They see that you are moving forward. They see that, you know, you have found your strength and they are jealous. This person is jealous. This is jealousy. This is jealousy and this is this person is miserable. The very first card. We have somebody here that that wants love but needs to find the courage and the confidence to take that bull by the horns and follow their heart and not try to escape reality of how they truly feel. So anyway, I feel as though this is the ace of cups. Somebody is going somebody is going to break the ice and communicate how they feel, you know, emotionally, how they feel. The lovers reverse before it's too late. These two people were brought together from heaven. They were, they were. It's going right here. But somebody is, somebody is realizing that this opportunity for love is, is slipping away. It is slipping away. It's because all they're doing is looking behind the scenes and not taking any action. They're not. They're looking, but they're not moving forward. Therefore, their their perfect match, and I said perfect match way before this card came out. I said it earlier. It is a perfect match. Their perfect match is perhaps slipping away. It's slipping away because I think this perfect match that didn't get... Uh, scooped up is is walking away is is leaving it behind 
and this other person's been watching the whole time. They have. They have. They have. And now it's either, you know, shit or get off the pot. Now, I don't know who this is for. Um, we have all the signs here, so it could be anybody. But somebody is realizing their feelings for another person that they neglected to communicate in the past. They did. And I think that they are upset with what they see. They are upset with the blessings and the wish fulfillment that this other person is receiving. That's what I see. That's what I see. And I think that they they want this love. And will they communicate? That's the question. Will this person communicate? Will this person tell how they truly feel? That's what I want. I mean, are you will you will you say how you truly will you say I love you? Because the Ace of Cups is love, right? I mean, who is this? I don't know who this reading is for. It's not what you deserve. The Six of Pentacles reverse. It's not what you deserve. There's, there's not equal give and take here. Not receiving. This person is not going to communicate. They're not going to say how they feel. They're not. Perhaps it's a one-sided situation. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe they took too long and it is now a one-sided situation. That's probably the case. That is the case. That is the case. And that's why the tower is here. This person hung around and was cold and icy for too long. And perhaps now they're not happy that they lost their perfect match and there's no longer the journey's over son of a bitch they're not going to communicate because they don't have the courage they never did have the courage or you wouldn't be watching this reading right we have a weak individual here we do And we have, a, we have another person that has found their strength and their confidence and their willpower and their force within them to go down a new path. I have a new vision now, a vision forward. So I feel like it's too late. I think we have somebody here that has regrets for making the wrong choice. And the person that they love is headed towards wish fulfillment and it's... Tough shit for them. I mean, I, for lack of a better word, I think somebody has lost their opportunity that they wish they had back. I think it's too late. And I think that they see that and they're upset and they're miserable. Because the person that they love is no longer focused on them. I think the person that they love is no longer invested. Um, that person has found their strength. And they're looking at somebody else. So that is what I have for today. I feel like today we have uh, somebody that would like to express how they truly feel. But they don't have the courage to do so. <laughs> and I think they see. I think they see that the person they love has another has a new love has a new love and therefore they can't take action because they simply don't have the courage so that's that's what i see i mean i, I do i see that this is new love i do think that somebody has a new love yes i do I think we have this person right here that has a new love and this person that has, is finding wish fulfillment and this other person that is um, slowly, uh, you know, coming, coming out of their, their frozen stage, you know, they're, they're melting, they're lightening up, you know, they're warming up and it's too late.
it's too late. I think now it's one-sided. Now it's unrequited love. This person was stuck for too long. And I think this person has now has a new now has a new passionate beginning elsewhere. So I feel like we have this person that is getting a rude awakening that it's too late. It's too late. So that's what I see. That's what I see for the seventh. I think somebody is getting a wake up call, a rude awakening that they lost their perfect match and it's uh that's the way it goes. So yeah. That's what I see. Good luck.